This is Varsha Subbara along with Banu welcomes you to Green Coach. Green Coach offers online tutorial for various horticulture subjects. Today we are dealing about entomology. In today's class we are learning about host plant resistance. In short it is termed as HPR. Let's go in detail about our topic. Host plant resistance. Every plant possesses some heritable qualities which influences the degree of damage of insect. Every plant possesses some heritable qualities which influences the degree of damage by insect caused by insects which is termed as HPR or host plant resistance. If damage is more than average damage it is called susceptibility. If damage is less than average damage it is called resistance. If damage is more than average damage it is called susceptibility. If damage is less than average damage it is called resistance. Before knowing the concept of HPR let's know what is immunity or absolute resistance. The inability of a pest to consume the plant under any known conditions can be termed as immunity. The inability of a pest to consume the plant under any known conditions can be termed as immunity. Resistance is of three types. They are pseudo resistance, genetic resistance and biotype reaction. Resistance is of three types. Pseudo resistance, genetic resistance and biotype reaction. Let's see the pseudo resistance in detail. In pseudo resistance the susceptibility stage is overcome very quickly. In pseudo resistance the susceptibility stage is overcome very quickly. It is obtained by early sowing or late sowing. It is obtained by early sowing or late sowing. The pseudo resistance includes three parts. It is shortly termed as HIH. Host evasion, induced resistance, host escape. Host evasion, induced resistance and host escape. Host evasion, susceptibility stage is passed very quickly. In host evasion, susceptibility stage is passed very quickly. In host invasion, sorghum is sown in June, which attacks the sorghum is sown in June in order to prevent the attack of shoot flies. Sown in June in order to prevent the attack of shoot fly. In induced resistance, environmental factors influence the resistance. Environmental factors influence the resistance in induced resistance. Example: the application of potassium fertilizers. Application of potassium fertilizers. In host escape, the insect does not attack the crop. The insect does not attack the crop. Let's go for genetic resistance. Genetic resistance is divided on the based on number of genes and major or minor genes. Based on number of genes, it is divided into monogenic resistance, oligogenic resistance, and polygenic resistance. Monogenic resistance is controlled by one gene. Monogenic resistance is controlled by one gene. Oligogenic resistance is controlled by few genes. Oligogenic resistance is controlled by few genes. Polygenic resistance is controlled by many genes. Polygenic resistance is controlled by many genes. Major or minor genes. Major genes means one gene or few genes show strong effect. One gene or few genes show strong effect. Minor resistance means many genes shows small small effects. Many genes show small small effects. The next one is biotype reaction. It is of two types: vertical resistance and horizontal resistance. Vertical resistance and horizontal resistance. In vertical resistance, different cultivars show different reactions to different pests. Different cultivars show different reactions to different pests. These are non-stable and they are not in high level. These are non-stable and they are not in high level. In horizontal resistance is opposite to vertical resistance. Means different cultivars show no differential reaction to different insects. Different cultivar shows no differential reaction to different insects. They are at moderate level. They are controlled by polygenes. They are at moderate level and controlled by polygenes. They are more stable. They are more stable. Let's see the mechanism of host resistance. The mechanism of host plant resistance was introduced by R. H. Painter in the year of 1951. R. H. Painter in the year of 1951. It includes three parts. They are non-preference, antibiosis, and tolerance. Non-preference, antibiosis, and tolerance. Non-preference is also called antizoonosis. Non-preference is also called antizoonosis. In non-preference, the plant became a non-preference to the insect. Means the host make itself unattractive. The host make itself unattractive in order to prevent the insect infestation. Example: hairy varieties of cotton are not preferred by leaf hopper. Example: hairy varieties of cotton are not preferred by leaf hopper. Antibiosis. The plant will be deprived of nutrients or it produces toxic chemicals. The plant will be deprived of nutrients or it produces toxic chemicals. Example Dimbova in maize. Example Dimbova in maize. Dimbova is 2,4 dihydroxy 7 methoxy 1,4 benzaxin. Dimbova is 2,4 dihydroxy 7 methoxy 1,4 benzaxin. It prevents the infestation of European corn borer. It prevents the infestation of European corn borer. 
Tolerance means the plant become tolerant to insect attack. The plant become tolerant to insect attack. It is due to the vigor of the plant regrowth. More stems, additive branches, compensation, affect utilization of non-vital parts. It is due to vigor, regrowth, more stems, additive branches, compensation of growth, affect utilization of non-vital parts. Tolerance is due to vigor, regrowth, more stems, additive branches, compensation, affect utilization of non-vital parts. That's all for now, friends. And let's see the summary. Host plant resistance means every plant possesses some heritable qualities which influences the pest attack. It can be termed as host plant resistance or HPR. Let's see what is susceptibility and resistance. If the damage is more than average damage, it is called susceptibility. If it is less than average damage, it is called resistance. Let's see what is immunity. The inability of a pest to consume the plant under any known conditions is called as immunity. Resistance is of three types: pseudo resistance, genetic resistance, and biotype resistance. Pseudo resistance consists of three parts: the host invasion, induced resistance, and host escape. Genetic resistance is divided based on number of genes and major or minor genes. Based on number of genes, it is divided into monogenic, oligogenic, and polygenic. Major or minor genes, it is divided into major resistance and minor resistance. In biotype reaction, it is divided into vertical resistance and horizontal resistance. Mechanism of uh, HPR or host plant resistance is given by R. H. Painter. It is divided into three parts: uh, non-preference, antibiosis, and tolerance. That's all for now, friends. Thanks for watching Green Coach. Please like and subscribe our channel for further video updates. Share maximum, guys. Thank you. Please give your valuable suggestions in the comment section. This is Vasu Subbaro along with Banu signing off for today. We will update you soon with another video. Thank you.